humans, I'm recording this from Sydney, Australia, where I've been staying for the past several weeks as I recover from surgery. In case you didn't know, I am an above knee amputee, and due to complications with a regular socket prosthesis, the only way I'm going to be able to walk again is with something called osteointegration surgery, which I will explain in a bit. I have been working on getting this surgery for about 10 months, going to places around the US and trying to convince doctors there to perform it on me. I have been to San Francisco, Pittsburgh, I have talked to people in Maryland and Denver, and yet somehow none of these places really wanted to give me the surgery. They said that there was problems because I had a previous infection, they didn't have it completely approved by the FDA in some places. They said there was problems with my insurance company. They just didn't seem to have their shit together very well, and they didn't have a lot of experience. After trying to work with them for so long, I just said, fuck it, I'm gonna go to Australia and have it done there. Because I don't feel like waiting months or even years for a surgery that I don't even know I'm gonna get approved for in the US. And so I reached out to the people here in Australia, and they were really awesome. They really seemed to have their shit together. They have lots of experience, and they were able to get me a surgery date within a few months, which was amazing. I thought I was going to have to wait way longer than that. And yeah, I finally had the surgery done, and it went well. I'm recovering well, and they think I'll be able to walk within three months. If you don't know what osteointegration surgery is, I'm going to explain it for you really quick. Usually when an amputee wants to wear a prosthesis or a fake limb, they will have to have this thing called a socket made, which is basically a piece of plastic that's customized to their amputated limb. And these can be really uncomfortable, they can cause skin problems and other issues, and they're just really not a great way of doing things. And so the other option is osteointegration to medically insert an implant, a metal implant, into the patient's bone and then have that stick out out of their body and attach to a prosthesis that way. Right now I'm going to show you my x-rays from before and after the surgery, so if you don't want to see those, look away. Here we see my x-rays before surgery. As you might be able to tell, my bone is very weak due to a year and a half of not walking and also due to problems with the original injury. Here are my x-rays after, and you can clearly see the rod inside my bone, you can see it sticking out of my leg, and you can even see the staples holding my skin together. What's going to happen with my recovery is basically this. Every day I have to load, which means I have to put a certain amount of pressure on my leg. Right now, I'm only allowed to do 10 kilograms, and that's going to go up by 5 kilograms each week. Most people do it by 5 kilograms each day, but as I mentioned, I have very weak bones, so I have to do it slower. After 6 weeks or so of doing this, I will finally be able to use a prosthesis with two crutches, and then after 6 weeks of that, I'll be able to use one crutch or a cane. After 6 weeks of doing that, hopefully I'll be able to walk unassisted and get back to doing the things that I love to do that require walking. All of this is really exciting for me. It raised my spirits a lot to know that my future isn't just going to be me sitting in an apartment by myself doing stuff I don't really care about to pay rent. And I'm so, so grateful that I'm going to be able to have this, that I'm going to be able to walk. That's just so cool, but I also have some worries. As I mentioned a few videos ago, I don't think a person's happiness should depend on their ability to walk. Lots and lots of people aren't going to have the opportunity that I'm having, the potential to walk again, and these people still deserve to be happy. And what was standing in my way of being happy while being in a wheelchair, and like I'm still in a wheelchair, but when I thought that I was going to be in a wheelchair forever, it was just that I couldn't do the things that I love doing. Like I couldn't do a lot of my hobbies. I couldn't do the jobs I wanted to do. The ways I connected with people weren't accessible to me as a person in a wheelchair. And all these things don't have to be that way. That's why one of my new goals in life is going to be making the things I care about accessible to people in wheelchairs, namely communal living. If you have information about that or you would like to help me figure things out with that, please message me on Tumblr or Twitter. The links to both those will be in the description below. That's it for now. If you're thinking of getting osteointegration surgery, I hope this was informational for you. If you have other questions, feel free to comment them or message me. Hope you have a good week. Peace.